All right, we are sitting here with a walking at Mountain Science Center, Kim Schleffer. Thank you so much for meeting us here this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me on the show. I'm pretty excited to talk about e-bikes. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. All right, so there's an event happening where people can demo them. Yep, so um, this week, Wednesday through Friday, um, at Avon Station, we're going to have a couple bikes and um, a bike station so folks can come check out what it's like to um, rent a bike from an e-bike share company. Um, take it on a little spin around Nottingham Park and bring it back. Um, and we're really looking just to generate some excitement around e-bikes in the community and see if we can't get so a larger system um, in place valley-wide. I mean, biking around here is fun, uh -huh. <laughs> but sometimes you're like, wow, I'm winded and I live at this elevation. So the e-bike community is kind of exploding over the last couple years with people that love to bike but don't want to put in all the work. Right. Well, and you know, I live in Singletree and work in Walking Mountains, and so that there's a couple of really big hills in that commute. Mm -hmm. And if I could show up to work and not be super sweaty and have to shower, <laughs> <laughs> but still bike, it would be awesome. So I think that e-bikes would really change the way we get around in the summer. Which would eliminate people driving their cars, which would ultimately be better for the climate too. Yeah, and would definitely fall right in line with our climate action goals for the county. Um, so it'd be pretty exciting to see it happen. I mean, have you ever been on one of the e-bikes? No, which is why I'm so excited for this week's demos. I have not either, but the reason I have not is because I'm like the clumsiest human to ever <laughs> touch Earth, and I just feel like something that has a motor on it and two wheels is not for me. Well, you can come try them out this Wednesday through Friday and uh, check it out. There'll be a couple of hills you can ride around, um, so get a good feel for it. See if it'll see if it'll work for you or not. And then if people do love the bikes, are you offering kind of guidance on where they can buy them? Um, so there are some local e-bike vendors, um, but we are really looking um, to generate interest more around like a, sh a bike share program. So similar yeah. to the Zagster program that Avon currently has, it'd be something where you could check out a bike on your smartphone, bike it to your destination, leave it at a station, and then go from there which I think would be so incredible for the community. They do that in so many places around the country. They do. That it is like so beneficial to those places as well, just because you always have a mode of transportation. Yeah, totally. And um, Park City, Utah, um, just launched a system last summer, and they've already logged 80,000 miles um, wow. of e-biking. So if we could do that here, it'd be incredible. And with those stations, do they plug the e-bikes in when they get there that way they are always charged yeah so they'll you'd pull it up to a docking station and once you drop it off I don't actually know the mechanics but when you put it there <laughs> it supposedly starts charging again oh so the technology on these bikes is incredible yeah so you'll never have to worry about swapping out batteries or anything like that just bring it to the station it'll charge up and um, you should be able to check the battery life on your smartphone too so if one's got like 10 percent and another's got 100 you can choose the right bike and are they going to kind of do like just a uniform sizing so that it's like one size kind of fits all? I think so. And, um, you know, the seat will seat be adjustable, adjustable yeah. obviously. Um, but hopefully, because the bikes are electric assist, any size should, should be able to Should work. be able to fit. I mean, I have seen so many people on them. Like, my dad loves them. Uh -huh. He will go and he'll get one in Westvale at the Christie Sports over there, and then he'll ride it to like Vale Village so that he doesn't have to ride his real bike and yeah. so we're he's huge about it I personally am just not a biker but I'm <laughs> definitely gonna come and try any bike awesome good to hear so Wednesday through Friday Wednesday through Friday 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, at Avon station right next to the Zagster perfect and people yeah. can come and enjoy yeah. and really like get a feel for the e-bikes that way if people do want to purchase one or take part in this awesome program that you guys are having they totally can yeah totally Kim thank you so much again for meeting us and giving us all this great information the newest thing in the community are going to be e-bikes they have already exploded over the last couple years so get out there Thursday through Friday and try one to see if it's something that would suit your lifestyle and get you out of your car throughout the summer coming up next we have more good morning Vale, so stay tuned